everyone, it's Karnak with Star Wars Armada Explained. Today we're going to be looking at the Quasar Fire title Stronghold. Stronghold, you'll see there in front of its name, a little dot or bullet point, signifies that this title is unique. You can only have one of them in your fleet. How do you know equips to the Quasar Fire? Well, there's a picture of one on there, but if you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the card, you'll see the symbol for it. It is Empire-specific only, which you can see there next to its point cost, which is 5 points. So definitely a little bit of an expensive title. Um, what's its ability? While a friendly squadron with swarm at distance 1 to 2 is defending, the attack is treated as obstructed. So this is very similar to like jamming field on the flotillas, except that makes any attacks or defense treated as obstructed. So this is kind of giving a jamming field barrier that only helps your own squadrons um, compared to also helping, you know, or, or that's uh, not hindering you as well. So how does this title work? Well, let me pull over. So I have all the squadrons out with Swarm right now, which is the Jump Masters, the TIE Interceptors, um, almost all of the TIE Fighters. Uh, Black Squadron does not have Swarm. A lot of people forget that. Uh, Black Squadron trades Escort for Swarm and Counter. And it has counter, but it does not have swarm. So, get a little Quasar Fire Buddy out here. He's got the Stronghold title equipped. Let's go ahead and pull over some Interceptors. Alright. So, again, while a friendly squadron, so if you're playing just a 400 regular game, it's any of your squadrons. It doesn't affect any enemy ships that also have swarm. If you are playing you know, larger point games and you have additional allied fleets in the field, they are considered friendly squadrons. They could also be they also will benefit from this title. Uh, but again, only works with squadrons that have swarm. If they don't have swarm, they gain no benefit from this title. So it measures from at distance one to two. So this black circle here is distance one, red is two, orange is three, um, this peach color is four, and then yellow is five. But this title only works at distance 1 to 2. And how you range that at, so this is within distance 1, at distance 1 within 2. So at 2 is if the squadron was just barely touching that distance band at range 2. And remember when you measure distance um, for a card upgrade like this, you're measuring from the plastic physical base of the ship to the closest point of the squadron. You're not measuring from the cardboard. You also are not measuring from the shield dials or the shield dial frames, just only the physical plastic base of the ship. So we can see there that this TIE Interceptor is at distance 2, meaning that if uh, any other squadrons were to attack that squadron, or, or actually just any attack, so whether that be flak or anti-squadron attack, uh, it will treat that target as obstructed. Now, Sienna Rhea already has obstruction, so she's not going to get double obstruction. There's no such thing as that. But somebody like Sunter Phil, who would you know, be taking, for example, full flak shot, uh, that helps give him additional survivability against flak to where you know maybe they're not getting an accuracy or a, and a hit to, to peg him for one damage. Because, uh, again, these guys, these TIE Fighters and TIE Interceptors, only have three hull, so they're very susceptible to getting smacked around. Um... So let's see here. Well, friendly squadron of storm at distance one to two is defending. The attack is treated as obstructed, and this in this includes any regular attack or any counterattack because a counterattack is also a considered an attack. So if they shoot someone else that has counter and they're shooting back at them, as long as they're at distance two, uh, you know that counter will be obstructed. So why does Stronghold not see much play? And before I go into that, I just want to say that's pretty much the card. Just as long as you've got squadrons within this distance one to two bubble, you know, around your ship, or at distance one to two, I should say, um, anything with swarm is obstructed. So it helps increase their survivability while still being able to attack back. It's great for like second players who are wanting to try to absorb an alpha strike for their squadrons before they get a chance to punch back. The, the biggest issue of why you don't see Stronghold on the table compared to something like Squall or Pursuant, which are two extremely good titles, um, partly it's, it's point cost. Five points for this ability is, yes, it's obstructing all the attacks, but the bubble is so small that you kind of have to keep your squadrons huddled in front 
of your quasar fire. And again, if they're too close to your quasar fire, when it moves, it's going to overlap them. And then your opponent just chucks them, you know, out of the way so that he can just bomb the quasar fire. The, the biggest issue that this card has is the fact it requires this quasar fire to kind of dive towards enemy squadron balls or ships where that's absolutely where it does not want to be. It has such limited shields and, and hull and very it only has the two defensive tokens that it will die very, very quickly um, to accomplish this. Because another big thing is that with Stronghold is that there's still no way for these squadrons to stop intel. So all it takes is somebody with intel to just pop past your squadrons and then just bomb and blow up your ship. So that's why you haven't seen much from Stronghold. And that is Stronghold. Like, there's no other crazy interactions. There's no other crazy things going on here. Uh, I, I will say, though, it is kind of nice for, like, if you wanted to bring generic jump masters and you're trying to keep them huddled next to your ship for when you need them, you know, it, it definitely helps them have a little bit more survivability or, like, your Scatter Ace Dengar. Now, where you might see this title more in the future with Rebellion the Rim coming out is Advanced Transponder Nets. Advanced tra Transponder Nets take up an offensive retrofit slot, which the Quasar Fire typically comes with you know, two or one, depending on which version you bring. Most people bring the cheaper variant, which has two, um, which the Advanced Transponder Net makes it so that any squadron that is heavy, meaning it's anti-Intel because Intel makes other squadrons heavy, so if it wants to come in to bomb the Quasar Fire, you know, it just can't ignore these squads anymore and just kill your Quasar Fire because of Advanced Transponder Net, which I think is an amazing card to encourage more diversity in squadron building and not just only bring the one intel and a bunch of anti-squadrons. It's encouraging to bring more heavy squadrons. Or the, the fact of, if your opponent is trying to bomb your ship um, by making all the other squads heavy, again with advanced transponder net, it, by, by that point alone, it, it can't because now these, it has to fight your squadron. So you might see more play with Stronghold with Advanced Transponder Net. Now, Advanced Transponder Net is also 5 points, so you're spending 10 points to make this whole thing work. But something to keep in mind, you know, moving into the future of this game, is that, gonna be, is that combination going to be any good? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it or looked into it. But I kind of went off a little bit of a tangent here. I'm just trying to explain the card. That's the card. Again, just trying to give a few uh, unique ideas also along with it. But, of course, if you think I got anything wrong... Or if I missed anything, please be sure to leave a comment, point it out. If you've enjoyed the content so far, please subscribe. I appreciate all you guys' uh, watching this and also your support. And hey, I'll catch you next time.